everyone in this video i will share some t codes that you will require in the accounts payable there will be some more uh, transaction codes but i think these are the more basic or common t codes that i think uh, you should know so i will uh, share those with you today first is xk03 xk03 okay it will show you the vendor details whatever the suppliers you have uh, feed in your system so that will show you that thing if you want to check uh, let's suppose there are 100 suppliers but you need to check the details of any one vendor so this is how you can check it xk03 please uh, note it down next key, key code that we might require that we will require in ep it's fbl1 n fbl1 n okay uh, it will show you all the list of uh, vendor which are paid and paid so under this we have different terms the items which are unpaid that will come under the open items and the uh, and the invoices that have been paid it will come under the cleared items you can see here that is this one cleared items so let check this out if we have any list of vendors 1710 is the standard in sap let's see it is yeah okay so you can see these red one are the unpaid invoices these are yet to be paid and these in the green dot uh, these invoices have been paid okay so under fbl1 you can check those invoices next t code we have is me23n me23n this is to check the PO details. Uh, when you will receive the PO, it will be uh, the, uh, the PO will be there in the system. So when you will type this T code ME23M, 23 the PO will come up there. But let's see. As of now, we don't have any. So we use this T code to check the PO details. Okay, moving further to the next T code that is my hero okay my next is myro m i r o so this t code is used uh, for invoice posting which are po based okay i just showed you the m a 23 n that is for po details from there we will uh, copy the details and under myro m i r o t code we will post the invoice that is po based okay so and right now i'm just giving you the basic idea okay i'm not going into detail like invoice date amount and uh, there we you will mention the items that i'm not doing it right now next t code is fb60 so we have two kind of invoices po and non-po po based which we have just seen that is under myro and for non-po based we do it under fb60 okay so, so that's the one if it's the invoice then select invoice if it's a credit member then select credit member so this is the screen where you will post those invoices where you don't have any uh, po purchase order okay and uh, next part is mr8m mr8m so this t code is used for any kind of reversal if you have made any wrong entries for any reason and you need to uh, reverse it to, uh, to nullify its impact there you will type the document number fiscal year and uh, you will mention the reversal reason here i have already shared the how to do the configuration for this part you can check in the uh, in the playlist okay so here we use this thing in ap as well next t code uh, and then these are the t codes that uh, we should have have some basic idea initially other than this there is one more that is f-44 <coughs> okay so it is done for clearing open items and for me i am just telling you one more decode that is for making the payments 
Oh, I think it's uh, n f dash. Uh, sorry, it's f dash 53. Okay. Yeah. Here we can make the payments to the vendor. It is manual payment mode, and there is one mode that is automatic. Uh, it can be done using the T code F110. Let me show you the screen for that as well. And I am using uh, who are experienced and who are working. Uh, they must know why we do use the N. But for the pressure, we use N to directly jump on the next screen. That is why we use the letter N. So I was telling you about F110. Okay, so this is the screen for automatic payment run that is APP and so here you will mention your date on which you will run the on which you want the payment to be done. So this was about the basic um, T codes that we would require under the accounts payable.